Some information recently leaked online that details three models in the upcoming S11 series. The Galaxy S11, the S11 Plus, and the S11e. Much like we've seen in the S10 lineup, but with some major improvements. Of course, the SKUs don't tell us the actual naming scheme that Samsung will give it, but we can assume that the three phones will follow the same lineup as the S10 series. According to this report, all three phones in the Galaxy S11 lineup will carry 5G. Of course, this isn't confirmed yet, but it does make sense because Samsung are facing a ton of competition from Chinese players and all of the Chinese brands in 2020 will be releasing phones with 5G as standard. Not just their flagship phones, but even mid-range phones from Chinese players will carry 5G next year and Samsung will not want to fall behind, especially with their flagship phones. With the Galaxy S11 e being the most affordable option, it should carry a slightly different design, possibly a flat screen with slightly bigger bezels than the S11 and S11 Plus. All three phones will come with the same processor, which in 2020 will be the new Snapdragon 865, or in some markets that will carry Samsung's Exynos chipset. Colors were also tipped in this report, apparently blue, black, pink, and white, but we don't know if the S11e will also carry that really cool yellow color option that we saw on the Galaxy S10e. We've also seen reports recently that Samsung will introduce a phone with an under screen camera in 2020. Samsung are setting up manufacturing for this now and when it's full speed they'll look to produce 30,000 units of this under screen camera phone every month. That means for sure that it will not be coming in the Galaxy S11 series. That series will still feature a hole punch cutout on the front of the screen. Ice Universe has tipped the inclusion of 90 hertz refresh rate screens in the S11 and S11 Plus. Certainly, we don't know if that will come to the S11e. Also, another feature that the S11e probably won't have is the new Periscope style zoom camera that will be coming on the S11 and S11 Plus. It was leaked recently that Samsung are testing out camera modules and part of that camera module is a Periscope style zoom camera that we've seen on other phones, for example, the Huawei P30 Pro and the Oppo Reno 10 times. It uses a similar technology and that tech is quite thicker than the usual two times zoom cameras. It takes up more space too, and having that in a smaller S11e probably just won't fit. Something that all phones in the range should get though is the brand new main sensor that Samsung are improving on this year. Under that main camera unit is a brand new CMOS sensor specifically designed for use in the S11 lineup. According to another tipster who's not often wrong, the 12 megapixel camera sensor is getting much bigger and also getting a bump up to about 16 megapixels. That means sharper images and a bigger sensor means more light and should mean overall just more natural, better looking images. The S10e carried a wide and an ultra wide camera, so there's no reason why it shouldn't get that new 16 megapixel sensor that the big brothers are looking to put in the phones when they come out. Something they'll have to fix in all of those phones though is the under screen fingerprint sensor that has had a lot of trouble recently. It's been found that the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor that is really only found in Samsung phones can be easily tricked by certain rubber, jelly or TPU cases or even just TPU sheets of plastic. Subscribe for more of the latest tech news leaks and rumors regarding Samsung and check out my Twitter for more information. That's it for now but I'll see you in the next one.